It looks like a big toy, but it's a technological jewel designed to produce energy from tides. Its design allows it to glide underwater at speeds up to 10 times faster than the tides themselves. What you're about to witness is that this prototype is very different to a kite used for flying. The Sea Inlet of Strangford Lock, Northern Ireland, covers 150 square kilometres. Its tides rise to an amplitude of 4 metres at speeds averaging 1.4 metres per second. For these reasons, researchers studying how to produce energy from tides chose this location to test the prototype. Three, two, one. It's a kite and it's tethered to the seafloor. In a tide, we have a lifting force, the water pushing the wing making it fly forward. It actually accelerates, so it makes the turbine spin. And then when the turbine spins, you produce electricity. The kite is heavily equipped with sensors and communication tools. Scientists from a European research project conduct tests to assess the best design and underwater speeds and depths, at which the kite can produce energy in more efficient ways. The flow speed differs as you look through the different depths in the water column and we can capture that with the kite is the flexibility that we can change a few parameters and tell it to fly at a different height depending on where the nicest tidal flow speed is. Light but resilient materials and a fully hydrodynamic design allow the kite to travel underwater in good harmony with tidal flows at varying speeds. It's not a um, objective in itself to fly as fast as possible. The thing is to create as much energy conversion as possible. If you fly too fast, that will of course stress the system. You can have failures and faults and breakage and uh, yeah, whatever problem. So you need to optimize the velocity towards the power production. Tests are taking place in a protected area teeming with seals. Scientists are building a sonar platform to track the passage of marine animals to better understand how they interact with a kite. We're currently developing the software of the system. We need to clearly discriminate between objects. We need to clearly distinguish what's a marine animal from what may be an object drifting away with the tide. The plan now is to build and install much larger kites with spans of 12 meters, each designed to produce up to 1.6 gigawatt hours of electricity per year. Scientists are using these tests to further enhance the technology. Starting from the turbine, going through the power electronics and the transmission of the electricity to, to, to shore. And, and we are look at what, what is the current concept and trying to, to evolve and uh, and improve performance and reduce costs for certain of those components. A full-scale device will soon be installed in the waters off of Wales. <laughs> 